Peter Drucker, the great management consultant of the 20th century, once said, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. Now that's true for all businesses, but especially so for trading, where we really need the data to tell us exactly what we're doing right and what we're doing wrong. But creating beautiful trading dashboards is really a pain in the butt with all the trading software out there. But what if I told you that ChatGPT could be your best friend? And in one, two, three minutes flat, it could create the most remarkable reports that could help you trade better. I'm Boris Schlossberg, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's get into it. For the purpose of this video, I chose one of my AMP Real Futures accounts just to give you an idea of how terrible some of the reporting from the futures brokers is. You can see over here in this report that it's just literally line by line of your uh, executions. And at the end, they give you kind of a net PNL that's very, very difficult to see. There's no analytics. There's nothing beautiful about it. It's very, very difficult to read. And frankly, it's not the fault of the brokers. They're using old software. They're using software that they've had to use for a long time. And they're just not in the business of creating really great analytical platforms for you. So you can take the power of reporting in your own hands by literally doing the following thing. So one of the great little hacks you can do to make life easier for you is that almost every single broker that really matters integrates with the TradingView platform, including, for example, my broker AMP. So all I need to do is log into TradingView to basically extract the information I need. Because within TradingView, there's a very, very cool little feature that you can use with any broker that's connected to it. All you need to do is go to the uh, broker icon over here, and you want to choose export data. And under export data, you want to choose history right over here. And once you choose that and you say export, it's going to produce a beautiful little CSV file, which is exactly what ChatGPT needs to be able to start doing its business. One of the really great things about ChatGPT is that it's a multimodal model. That's just simply fancy language for saying it can take all sorts of input, including pictures, to be able to get started on a project. So one of the things you can do is simply find a software reporting tool that you like, something like Tradeabate, for example, which is what I'm using right now, and just simply do nothing more than just simply copy this particular picture and then send it to ChatGPT and say, hey, use my CSV file to make me the exact same thing. So I start my ChatGPT prompt in the simplest possible fashion. All I do is tell it, hey, here's a report, take a look at this picture that I showed you and read the CSV file that I uploaded to you and basically create the similar type of report from the CSV file. And then we just let the ChatGPT go to work. And you see that it's thinking through here, it's going through the symbols, it's actually understanding that it needs to marry the trades, figure out the PLs, and actually even ask me about the commission uh, and everything else in here. And I tell it, um, yes, I'm going to give you the commission schedule for this performance. Here's the commission schedule um, of $2. Uh, it figures out the, the, uh, the actual uh, profit numbers for M and Q and Q at, at two dollars, five dollars, and five for ES. And I actually tell it, here are the fees you need to calculate to give me a more accurate, cleaner uh, dashboard. So after all is said and done, it created a first version of the HTML dashboard for me. And as you can see, it's really, really a good copy. It's pretty accurate to what I wanted to do. It gives me the exact breakdown that, for example, the Trade of Eight um, analysis does for you um, on any any report that you give it. In other words, I've uploaded my AMP futures, but you could upload an MT4 report. You could upload another futures broker report. You can upload um, maybe even your thinkorswim report. As long as it's in a CSV uh, format, ChatGPT is going to be smart enough to figure out where the trades are and how to create this incredibly interesting and complicated report to tell you everything you need to know, the number of trades you did, the average trade time, the um, standard deviation of each trade, the expectancy of these trades. This was actually a pretty good run for me in the last over the last four days uh, on this a very, very small uh, account that I ran. It gives you a nice little chart and then it even breaks it down exactly like the other report, which is the PL history per trade, the cumulative PL with fees, then um, the PL distribution by the hour, all of this stuff is just telling you uh, what's going on here. PL distribution by um, by the close of the hour, so on and so forth. But you know what? 
I kind of like it. It's a nice, nice first pass, but I say, hey, you know what I'd like to do? I would like to, first of all, um, make my a positive PLs green, my negative, my negative losses red, so I could really visualize and see exactly how the report looks. And no sooner than I tell it to do, it simply goes through the process of, of uh, understanding my directions and creates a new version that's even better than the first version it created with telling me wh which hours of the day I actually lose money, which helps me understand, oh, maybe I shouldn't be trading at this time. Um, tells me the P&L by, by, uh, by the day, by the time of day, the P&L uh, by all my trades, all the stuff that I want. But that's not all, because now I can actually ask it more complicated questions. One of the most common and popular trade reporting tools is something like TradeZilla, which puts everything into sort of a daily PL shot, a daily PL card that allows the trader to see exactly how they're doing day by day. So I thought, hey, could ChatGPT do that with my data without having me to import it to TradeZilla, pay them $45, $50 a month, and do all of those things? And the answer turns out to be that yes. Basically, I uploaded my CSV again and went through a long and relatively uh, interesting conversation about how we want to, to format the uh, the product. So first, um, it actually read everything properly and it pre presented, presented me this particular dashboard. This was only four trading days that I had in this data set. And you can see that it looks okay, but I thought, ah, uh, it's a little small, it's a little dark. I'd like it to be um, a little more visible. So then we go back to a conversation. I tell it, hey, why don't you make it a little white? Why don't you give me the better background? And it does that and it comes back with this background. And I sort of like it, but I'm not quite satisfied. And then I had an epiphany and I said, you know what? Um, why don't I just show it what I really wanted to do? Because remember, the great thing about ChatGPT is it's a multimodal format. So showing it sometimes is much better than actually talking to it. So I uploaded one of my TradeZella snapshots and say, hey, take a look at this and um, make something like this for me because I want it to be in this kind of a format. And guess what? The next shot that it produced for me was excellent. It was this TradeZilla format with everything that I need to know. And more importantly, for someone like me, who, for example, trades quite a lot, it showed me that I really spent a lot of uh, my uh, capital on commissions. So I have to either accept that fact or try to improve it as I go forward. But regardless of what I do, the data is really right in front of my eyes right there for me to see super easy and of course with chat gpt it doesn't require you to have fancy expensive 50 dollars a month uh reporting softwares and journaling softwares you can do all of this yourself all you need to do is simply tell it hey i would like something like this for my own personal use and i too can get the absolute best analysis in a snapshot without doing any tedious work let me know what next video in the world of trading you'd like to see me do I love ChatGPT, I love programming, I love trading. So anything that's on your mind, put it in the comments and I'll try to make next video just for you. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the markets. I'm Boris Schlossberg. Make sure to join me live when I trade live every single day on YouTube. Be sure to sign up to our channel over and out.